Hi, how are you? Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face. I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. I almost didn't recognize you. That's the point. So, about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Your base was under a donut shop? That's awesome. It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. What exactly are we looking for? I'll tell you when we get inside. I know that's a bum deal, but strategic ignorance has saved our organization more times than I can count. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs, counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never caught on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Anything I can do? You just say the word. No. 
close. Where'd they go? See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. <clears throat> oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Are you in danger? I signed on for light recon, but that little slocum's jaw of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches! <sighs> if I haven't been made yet, I'll be spotted when I leave here. I'm goddamn trapped. The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Wait, they have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Excuse me. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. The Institute could have turned him. Or more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read, too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word. The front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered.
back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So Can't break the code. We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Aha! Missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. Someone left a rail sign here. up your day tech. There shouldn't be any courses in here, but if there are, just run. Hello. Active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up. We can give our friend. Ends a little surprise.
dispatch at once. Prepare to be shot. Not every slogan is Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. Your entry is secret defense intelligence agency research lab. Place the never appreciated existence. It's called the switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Figure out a good use for it. I'm in. Perhaps my sensors need calibration. Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. Is someone present?
Institute synth is foolish. It would appear my target has disappeared. Engaging. Where's that play button? Carrington, Stanley, Salas Agrote, Supreme Lex. Oh, it says me. So Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. He died protecting our secrets. Let me see. There. Tommy would want you to have his hand cannon. Size for you. What's so special about the gun? Tinker Tom restored it. You'll meet him later. It's cutting edge old world tech. It's powerful and, more importantly, quiet. You'll never find another weapon like it. Grab Carrington's prototype. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. There we go. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield.
hostile sensor reading detected. Movement to the war. for you. Hey there. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. I made a good team. The best. See you soon. Sweet.
That's it. Hey, over here. What can I do? You know, I still really appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks, I guess. No, I, I didn't mean like... <laughs> I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. One piper's enough already. So, what's the issue? Oh, har har. Seriously, though. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking... Maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, and all around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away. 
Because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess, but I, th I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? <laughs>